Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Hello everybody, today we will discuss exponential distribution which is a part of quantification of the basic events. Understand what we have discussed in last class, we have discussed this, we have discussed this part fully and then I have shown that the, if you have time to fill your data, how this side you ultimately go for polynomial approximation from the histogram. Although we have not uh, given you any numerical uh, problems and its solution for histogram to polynomial approximation, but it is possible and I am sure that you will be able to do it. So, today we are basically seeing the other side of this figure, because we are interested to know all those distributions. Now, at the other side is that given the physical condition as well as the unit under operation. So, what happened it may it may show uh, you may find you may assume certain distribution because you have past experience with that that if the, if these are the symptoms then uh, ultimately the particular random variable uh, and if exhibits certain symptoms. So, then it is basically uh, coming from a uh, set or known probability distribution. For example, uh, many electronics uh, equipment or component like transistors and others in their useful life, what they will they basically fo follow the um, that constant failure rate that is basically constant hazard rate. And if under constant hazard rate situation, you will find out that exponential distribution time to failure data will follow the exponential distribution. So, when we have beforehand some a priori knowledge that the time to failure data uh, will be following certain distribution, then in that case it is better to better to assume the data coming from that particular distribution and you just test when a test through uh, certain means and whether the exponential distribution is fitted or not. Okay. Now, it may so happen that you are not sure that we, whether it is a particular distribution or there can be many distribution which may may each one may be the possible candidates. So, then what happen you fit that data to many distribution and through particular certain test like hypothesis testing you will see that whether the uh, the parameters coming from that uh, are from that particular distribution or other way the data coming from that particular distribution or not. So, with this uh, background in mind and we will be discussing today exponential distribution and, and this is also coming under quantification of basic event because most of the component uh, useful if it is in the useful life it is usually it is considered that they are coming from exponential distribution. It will not ultimately uh, deviate much from the reality, but at the same time your mathematical complexity is reduced. So, exponential distribution is extensively used in safety as well as reliability study when particu particularly when we are interested in comp component level failures. Okay. So, now let us see that what, what is exponential distribution, how it is derived and with some example we will also show you the calculations. So, uh, I, I again rely uh, on this hazard rate curve because the uh, because exponential distribution um, uh, and the constant failure rate they have huge relation basically if the hazard rate is constant which is basically the time of useful life and then you will see later that the failure distribution distrib density will be 
exponential distribution. So, let me read out some of the important points. So, it is basically the most commonly used distribution in reliability as well as in safety analysis and because it sim of its simplicity and ability to give constant hazard rate model, this constant hazard rate it will be explained if you go by exponential distribution. And second one it, it is uh, constant hazard rate is the useful life means that is the maximum period of oper life when the component or the unit will be under operation. So, that means if it is exponential constant hazard rate then the useful life is more. So, you can understand the, uh, the value of this particular distribution now. And the distribution is specifically used in new electrical and mechanical component. Okay. So, and usually those have all passed the early period burn in period that is already passed. In general, it is considered a good model for representing system and complex non redundant component consisting of many integrating parts. Another one is this basically suppose you have a complex system many integrating parts are there, they are basically definitely non redundant parts then if you when you sum up thus all all failures then ultimately it exhibits constant failure rate the sum aggregated uh, failure rate will be almost constant failure rate. So, that is another interesting point. So, that means you can use the exponential distribution there. So, if failure rate is constant that means, R x t is lambda, then you will see that from here using this R x t will be able to derive all those things. So, I will I will write down here. So, our R x t I am not writing x, I am only writing R t. So, this is lambda. Okay. Again, you know that R t is nothing but F t by capital R t. Okay. So, this can be written like this that 1 by R t and small f t is d by d t capital F t. You all know what is this capital F t is C d f. Another issue is that R t plus F t equal to 1. So, capital F t can be written as 1 minus R t. Then d by d t capital F t this is nothing but d by d t 1 minus R t which is basically minus d by d t capital R t. So, you can replace this and then put the put the uh, R t value. So, it will be minus d by d t capital R t. So, now <coughs> what is this? This is nothing but again lambda. So, lambda equal to this. So, you can write here that d R t by R t capital R t or R t equal to from this minus lambda into d t lambda into d t. So, if you now integrate obviously, you know that this will be with reference to R t 0 to 1 and this will be with reference to 0 to infinite. So, <coughs> if you integrate what you will get here you will get log of R t here equal to minus lambda t plus constant and under boundary condition c will be 0. So, you are getting log of r t equal to minus lambda into t. So, then r t will be anti log of minus lambda t this is basically e to the power minus lambda t. Okay e to the power r t equal to e to the power minus lambda t. So, that means, if your hazard rate is constant then reliability reliability will be e to the power minus lambda t. Now, then 
then if I know reliability is this, then you know this one, what is the C d f 1 minus this. So, 1 minus this, then what will be f t? f t will be small f t, small f t will be del f t by d t. So, what is this del by d t 1 minus e to the power lambda t, which is lambda e to the power minus lambda t. So, we have now defined the exponential distribution p d f of exponential distribution which is f t equal to, e, equal to lambda e to the power minus lambda t obviously, t greater than greater than if it is t equal to 0 it is lambda t greater than 0. Okay. So, this is what is our theoretical exponential distribution which one this. So, what are the assumptions for this case? as such then the exponential distribution will be followed unit is in its prime of life that means useful life. The unit in consideration is a large one with many sub component having different failure rates. So, this also possible suppose first one is this it may be under say this kind of constitution the data are so limited that elaborate mathematical treatment are unjustified. So, when you go for exponential distribution first is you know it is in the prime period of life component level or you have a system with many parts with different failure rates and you are aggregating all those failure rates so then also exponential distribution is useful or otherwise what happens you do not have data to understand that what will be the actual failure distribution under such cases it is better to use uh, that exponential distribution because higher level mathematical or complicated distribution even if you use that may not serve the purpose because ultimately you do not know exactly uh, from the data what is the distribution. Okay. So, now let us let us see the example. The example is uh, the, the is the same what we have discussed in last class, last but one that class also. We have given you some hundred uh, data points, and then from that data, what we have calculated, we have calculated the mean time to failure. Mean time to failure. Okay. So. So, the mean time to failure for that data set is 56.31. That mean time to failure has a relationship with the parameter of the exponential distribution that is lambda. We have already seen what is exponential distribution. Now, we also know what is the theoretical formula to compute mean time to failure it is nothing but T f x t d t which is t e to the power minus lambda t d t because our f x t is e to the power minus lambda. Now, if I if you if you integrate this one you will be you will be getting this. Now, the value is t is value range uh, changing from 0 to infinite put 0 to infinite and then then you are ultimately you are getting this value. Okay. So, first one lambda t e to the power minus lambda t by lambda then plus lambda e to the power minus lambda by lambda into d t integration okay, integration by parts we have done. So, that this two ultimately this result into this quantity 1 by lambda. So, that means mean time to failure is 1 by lambda or other way lambda is 1 by mean time to failure for exponential distribution. So, we, we, we assume that this follows exponential distribution. So, mean time to failure is computed. So, lambda is also computed. What is the value of lambda? 0 0.018. Then what is our f x t? That this is lambda is 0 0.018 e to the power minus 0 0.018 into t. So, if I put the value of lambda this will be 0 0.018 e to the power minus 0 0.018 into t. Now, we have computed 
this putting all lambda value is 0 0.018 and f t values putting into this formula you are getting d j b t values that density values. Okay. So, we have the lambda then theoretical reliability, theoretical density, theoretical cumulative distribution functions all can be de derived all values and we have done it and you use excel sheet and do it and get the values like this one is the this is your f x t cumulative c d f this is your survival function, this is your failure function, this is the density function and we know it is exponential distribution. So, the hazard rate or failure rate will be constant which is this line. Okay, so, given data you have to draw such fun, such diagram so, and, and you have to interpret also. Okay. Suppose you are given a that um, some kind of constant uh, hazard rate uh, function, so you must you must know uh, what will be its density. In that, in this case, it is exponential distribution density. So those things you must be able to uh, write down in in the assignment as well as during the exam. Okay. So, exponential distribution has a very good property which is known as memoryless property. Okay. So, it is something like this suppose you started with time t equal to 0 and you have a distribution like this. This is exponential distribution this one is f t and this exponential distribution. Okay. So, f t is exponential. Now, suppose you have passed certain time let t equal to a t equal t 0. So, you are at t equal to t 1. Now, you want to know the uh, the distribution which distribution this unit follow after time t equal to t 1 it will be the same exponential distribution because it does not remember the past of his past of the uh, his distribution. So, that is what is the memoryless property mean it will again it will be suppose if I if I forget if I forget this part then again it started with exponential distribution. Okay. So, that mean it can be again if you think it is 0 you can it will bring back to this same thing happen. So, it will not the past does not depend on uh, in exponential distribution the past does not matter wherever you are starting that if it is exponent coming from exponential distribution it will because you have seen the hazard rate function. Suppose you, you this is the useful life suppose this much work is time has elapsed still it is constant failure rate with the same parameter values. Okay. So, this uh, that uh, interpretation is given mathematically like this that probability that x will be a, x with in between a and a plus delta given that x greater than a this is again you see that 1 minus e to the power minus lambda delta which is independent of t. So, and that is the that is the from the above equation it can be inferred that failure distribution between a and a plus delta is not affected by real age of the unit. So, it is our it is one of the another another advantage of exponential distribution. Now, <coughs> now suppose uh, you have data and you want to find out the lambda values graphically. From theory you have seen that the lambda value is 1 by mean time to failure the reciprocal of mean time to failure, uh, but here what happened suppose you have data and you want to find out the what will be the lambda value theory from the from 
from plots. So, this this was given here. So, we know the distribution of uh, cumulative distribution of exponential distribution will be like this. So, you just do this manipulation. So, 1 minus this equal to this and this then finally, log this is the equation. What is this equation? If I say that this left hand side is y then this is nothing but y equal to lambda t. So, if I want to plot now y versus t then lambda what is this y versus t. So, you will be getting a straight line. Now, whether what will be the kind what kind of straight line that depending on the value of lambda. So, you you get it is a straight line equation, it is a straight line equation. Interestingly, this straight line will pass through the origin because there is no intercept. So, you have data from data you compute this cumulative empirical CDF, you com find out empirical CDF okay. and then what happened? you find out that 1 minus that C D F and 1 by of this and log and get the values like this we have done it. When t equal to 0 our C D F is this t equal to 40 C D F is this. So, then log of 1 by 1 minus f t. So, all those things are known because f t is known this is this. So, in this manner we what we got we got all the log value log of 1 by 1 minus f t values. What is required to be plot? We required to plot this versus t. So, if you plot this versus t, you must get a straight line, and by theory, this straight line should go through the origin. So, so let us see that what is the plot. You see, we have we have given the plot all those points and it a straight line is drawn through origin and we got the value y equal to this. So, y is nothing but what? y is log of 1 by 1 minus f t this equal to 0 0.023 into x is here t this is your lambda. Hmm. So, then 1 by 1 minus f t equal to e to the power this one 0 0.023 t just e to the power minus this. So, <coughs> now you, you, you can you in back calculation you can find out what you will find out you, you may find out that small f t what, what is uh, this one this one you can find out. So, our lambda is this and okay, lambda is this and it will be e to the power minus and this I think it, it will come like this only. Then another issue is that suppose you will not go by um, that graphical method you can use, but at the same time uh, we have shown you that the you can use lambda equal to 1 by m t t f. So, how this 1 by m t t f is coming that when through maximum likelihood estimation you can find out this one. So, in order to use maximum likelihood estimation you first know that what is the distribution, distribution is here, here we are using x because x we consider is time to failure. So, this is not x is e to the power lambda e to the power minus lambda t here lambda x 1 I am we are writing like this. So, this x 1 and t x and t you can use interchangeably here. So, then suppose you have collected n number of observations n number of data n number of data small n. 
So, 1, 2, all those t time to failure data, m number, n number of data is available to you. So, each data, data coming from this exponential distribution. So, that means each data will follow observation, each observation will follow exponential distribution and its uh, density function will be like this. Now, what we want to, we want to find out a parameter lambda which actually makes this n number of observation most likely. What this is what is the maximum likelihood estimation. Maximum likelihood estimation means we have a data set and what we want to know what is the parameter of that distribution that makes this data set most likely. So, there can be many uh, that parameters you can choose, but there will be one parameter which will value which will make the data set most likely. So, that is why what is required that means you are not dealing with one density function, uh, you are basically dealing with n number of density function of same type. That means the lambda value will not change, only the x value is changing. So, you are taking them together, uh, putting them together and you required to find out the joint probability density function here. As the observations are independent, so their joint distribution will be multiplication of the density function. So, that is what is done here. So, that means the joint distribution f x 1 to x n is multiplication of the individual observ individual distribution density functions. So, then you 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 take the log of uh, this is basic this is basically we are talking about likelihood function ok. So, likelihood function is nothing but the multiplication i equal to 1 to n then your lambda e to the power minus lambda x i or t i. So, this is nothing but this that means, given observation observed data what will be the value of lambda. Okay. So, then this one is lambda to the power n e to the power minus this. Now, what happened to make it simplified you take the log of this function likelihood function. So, when you take the log, so lambda n will become n log lambda and all those e to the power term will become the sum of this. So, what do you want? We want to maximize the um, that uh, that one what I can say the log likelihood. The reason because if likelihood if we maximize that will be the most likely value of lambda will be there. So, you take in order to maximize find the maximize values maximum value what you require you did take the derivatives. So, taking derivatives with respect to lambda you are getting this equation. Now, all and you can go for the second order equation. So, for to check that maximum uh, that or minimum which point it is we are not going to that level, but it will be definitely a maximization case. So, then this value if you put to 0 then you are getting lambda equal to this. Now, you lambda equal to this x 1 to x n means t 1 t 2 or t n or x 1 to x 10 this is nothing but 1 by m t t f mean time to failure. Okay. So, so, this is uh, with reference to this example we have computed lambda equal to this value 0 0.02. So, thank you very much. I hope you have understood it.